Thank you uh, very much, uh, Professor Belkader, for inviting me. I'm very honored and uh, uh, happy to be here uh, in Morocco um, year after year to participate in these important events. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about management of diabetes in my country, Egypt. Uh, diabetes is a fast-growing health problem in Egypt, and there is significant impact on mortality and morbidity and healthcare resources. Uh, Egyptian physician Hathira, 3,000 years before uh, uh, birth, um, was the first to describe diabetes with a condition of passing too much urine, and this again was prescribed in what's called Ebers papyrus 1,500 years uh, before uh, birth. Uh, in the modern era, diabetes continues to be a public health problem with a significant burden to the Egyptian economy. For the IGF update, Egypt uh, is in the eighth rank uh, with the number of diabetic patients uh, in, in uh, uh, 2015. Uh, we have uh, about 7.8 million uh, diabetic persons. If we compare this number, with 4.7 million in 2010, then we are having a growing problem. And according to the IGF, again, if we do nothing, Egypt is going to be in the seventh rank with 15.1 million in 2040. This is the prevalence of type 2 uh, diabetes in Egypt, uh, increasingly and increasing number of type 2 patients in Egypt um, to reach 15 million in 2040. 16% uh, of adult Egyptians has diabetes and 8% has pre-diabetes and rural populations with more traditional lifestyle exhibit lower rates of diabetes risk factors and the diabetes while in urban population, uh, there is a um, high socioeconomic status with higher rate of both diabetes risk factors and diabetes. Are these diabetic patients in Egypt diagnosed or not? About 50% of diabetic patients in Egypt are not uh, previously uh, diagnosed or some of them are in what we know as diabetes denial. They are diagnosed and they ignore uh, all about diabetes and living year after year without treatment. What about health expenditure in uh, diabetes, on diabetes in Egypt? Uh, the cost of ambulatory outpatient for diabetes is lowest while uh, there's a problem here. Okay, sorry. The cost for ambulatory outpatient care for diabetes in Egypt is one of the lowest for Mediterranean countries. However, the, course, the cost of uh, treating complication is very high. And the annual cost analysis estimated in Egypt for diabetes during 2010 was about $1.29 billion. Uh, uh, this number excluded the costs for pre-diabetes and the cost for a loss of productivity or absence from work. Um, most diabetic patients in Egypt are treated out of their pockets. There is no uh, public insurance covering all diabetic patients. Uh, so most are uh, treated uh, in private places, private hospitals or private doctors. Some are treated in university uh, hospitals or uh, diabetes center in major cities. Those are the etiological factors for the increased uh, prevalence of diabetes in Egypt during the past 20 years 
there is major socio demographic demographic changes life expectancy has improved dramatically and urbanization and per capita income has increased changes in physical activity in the form of physical inactivity or less activity and dietary patterns with high carbohydrate diet uh, so, inactivity and high energy diet are major factors in increasing prevalence. Uh, obesity, especially visceral obesity and physical inactivity. So, Egypt is number three um, uh, in the prevalence of obesity in the MENA region after Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. Uh, there is sedentary lifestyle, increased number of cars uh, contribute to less uh, physical activity. Egyptians tend to avoid exercise in public places, especially uh, Egyptian females. Uh, they don't um, like or um, to, to, to go to exercise in public places. Uh, the major sport in Egypt is saucer. Uh, some uh, uh, higher socioeconomic states prefer swimming and biking. Uh, even schools, uh, even in schools, there is reduced uh, time for physical activities, and this is replaced by other uh, maybe uh, language ses sessions or mathematics sessions. They uh, usually reduce the number of physical activity hours. And also there is reduced exposure to uh, sunlight due to traditional uh, clothing, especially in females. And uh, this is uh, linked uh, to increased rate of obesity and increased rate of vitamin D deficiency linked to type 2 diabetes in female subjects. What are the strategies to improve diabetes care in Egypt? Uh, uh, there should be a government uh, screening program in high-risk group of, diabetic, uh, of uh, patients like uh, diabetic patients' families and those with uh, obesity, with increased uh, uh, waist circumference, those with hypertension, dyslipidemia, the known risk factors of diabetes, there should be an, uh, a screening program for these uh, persons. Also, educational programs uh, to, um, uh, to, to uh, aware the persons about uh, how to avoid uh, diabetes. Uh, general diabetes and nutrition uh, education should be done in schools, in public uh, media, in private media, to aware patients or to aware families and to aware uh, those with high risk uh, to develop diabetes, how to avoid uh, diabetes. And also about nutrition, because um, Egyptian diet uh, contains high calorie uh, in the form of sweets and um, uh, carbohydrate breads, uh, rice. Uh, those are some activities done by the Arabic Association for the Study of Diabetes and Metabolism. Uh, to help diabetic patients and to help the community. Scientific activities in the form of international conferences, national conferences, workshops, continuous medical education, educational flyers for doctors, and also nursing education. Patient activities in different places like sporting clubs, countryside uh, villages, companies, industry, universities, some ministries and media organizations in the form of patient education sessions to increase awareness of diabetic patients, helping them to prevent or better manage diabetes, education about healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, healthy eating, exercise, weight management, stress management, and uh, preventive care, blood glucose uh, testing during these sessions, to meet the doctors for free, all these activities are done for free, to answer any queries and distribution of uh, educational material, like flyers, posters, booklets, and educational CDs. This educational material um, 
are designed for awareness of diabetes, diabetes prevention, prevention of complications, increased awareness of healthy lifestyle habits, help patients to prevent or better manage diabetes if possible, healthy lifestyle, stress management, and distribution of glucometer to patients on insulin or patients on oral anti-diabetic patients and those with advanced complications requiring home self-monitoring of blood glucose, blood glucose analysis, hemoglobin A1C measurement, fundus examination, and screening for new cases of diabetes. Media awareness program, we are very active in media, TV, and newspapers regularly, interviews and uh, articles. Religious fasting activities, uh, we are um, very keen about safe fasting for Muslims and for Christians because we are having about um, less than 10% of Egyptian population are Christian and they uh, fast during several occasions uh, around the year. So uh, pre-Ramadan we make patient uh, education sessions, we make uh, doctor education and uh, a, a special conference for Ramadan. We bring uh, the higher authority uh, uh, fatwa in Egypt to, to uh, give instructions uh, to doctors how to manage their patients and who to allow to fast and who uh, are uh, not allowed to fast. Uh, so we can have safe fasting during Ramadan. We also distribute flyers uh, containing uh, um, how to uh, take our meals during Ramadan um, uh, in order to uh, achieve face, uh, safe fasting to our uh, Egyptian Muslim populations. For also Christian uh, population, we do um, visits in uh, uh, the churches. We are going to see some pictures to give them also education about safe fasting because they use a lot of um, fats during uh, the fasting uh, days of Christian uh, fasting. We, uh, we also do um, activities in collaboration with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, uh, for uh, refugees um, staying in Egypt and displaced persons. We are having about 400,000 refugees in Egypt and um, more than 5 million displaced persons and immigrants. Uh, from uh, Arabic and from uh, African countries. So uh, we are taking care of those diabetic patients, uh, diabetes education, glucometer and test strip donation, uh, blood glucose analysis, hemoglobin A1C measurement, fundus examination, and also uh, for those who are needy and can't work, we give financial support and food supplies. We are all part of Berlin Declaration with the global health policy with the IGF and WHO, uh, two parties in Egypt, uh, the Arabic Association for the Study of Diabetes and Metabolism and the Egyptian Ministry of Health. And the first phase uh, was 200 days. We are now in the 200 days, uh, ending by October 2017. And we are uh, having a very ambitious diabetes campaign. Those are some um, pictures taken during our activities in gardens, in WDG, World Diabetes Day, uh, in the past years, making activities to our patients, patient education sessions, uh, the Whale Academy of Science, also education for um, students. Also, we, we uh, are having um, some uh, educational program to university students uh, to make awareness about diabetes. So, uh, so these students go to their um, uh, small uh, uh, family, uh, families, neighbors, and maybe they can give small sessions in uh, their clubs or so. We, ha we had um, 
Uh, one year we had uh, about 70 activity for students going to universities, to villages and sporting clubs to make awareness about uh, diabetes and diabetes prevention and screening for diabetes. Those uh, are done in churches, these activities uh, done with our Christian professors because they can know um, how to make lifestyle for uh, their um, fasting. So uh, we leave this education done uh, by our Christian colleagues because they can know the nature of diet and the nature of lifestyle during uh, Christian fasting. Uh, campaign to New Swiss Canal, teaching hospital, monophaya, uh, campaign, Kaliobeya, those are different Egyptian governments uh, fasting Holy Ramadan with a representative of uh, the Fatwa House. Uh, in other societies like Lions and Rotary, Ahram Media Organization, this is the most important media organization in Egypt, doing uh, a campaign in Ahram. Uh, involving students from, uh, for, uh, from the pharmacy student in uh, Egypt, uh, Faculty of Commerce, uh, National Research Institute, Azhar University, El Hilal Media Organization, another uh, important media organization in uh, Egypt, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, patient education uh, session and awareness and screening. In conclusion, prevention, early identification and effective intervention are integral components of effective type 2 diabetes care in Egypt. These strategies may reduce the expanding economic burden association for uh, type 2 diabetes care. Thank you very much.